Hello everyone, I'm Deidre. I'm the curator at the Railway and Forestry Museum. I'm Maria, and I'm the archivist and assistant curator here. Um, we want to talk to you guys about our exhibit that we put up about a week ago, um, B.I. Burners Behind Us. Unfortunately, due to the global health crisis, um, the museum is closed and no one is able to see it right now. Um, but we wanted to show you virtually some of the beautiful paintings by Lou Engelhart that are here up at the museum. And in the future, hopefully, you'll be able to see them in person. So a little bit about how we constructed the exhibit. As you can see, we made these beautiful palette walls and they are movable. So they're just in one configuration right now out of many possible ones. Around the outside of the gallery, and we'll be showing you guys a closer look in a second, we have all the beehive burner paintings. And in the back here, we have our miniature beehive burner, which is safe for children to go into, a little bit of an interactive experience. Thousands of sawmills and planers, large and small, littered British Columbia's landscape throughout the mid-20th century. Enormous amounts of sawdust, bark, and other waste wood accumulated at these sites. This byproduct was buried and burned in open pits in an attempt to control the refuse. As a follow-up to these techniques, conical steel beehive burners were designed to incinerate waste wood in a controlled and safe way. They soon became a fixture at almost every saw and planer mill in the province. The many burners in Prince George produced a lot of ash and smoke, which caused the atmosphere to become clouded. It was clear to artist Lou J. Engelhart that the technology of the beehive burner would not be utilized forever due to their environmental impact. He traveled to mill sites and created watercolor sketches of the beehive burners he saw. Engelhart used these sketches as the base of the paintings exhibited here. These sketches are now stored at the Royal BC Museum. It was important to Engelhart to record the BC landscape before the burners vanished forever. The BC government enacted the Environmental Management Act in 1997. Burners now require a permit to burn waste wood. Today there are only 33 burning facilities in BC Many abandoned beehive burners can still be spotted in the central interior of BC. They are slowly decaying and being absorbed by the natural landscape. Here at the Central BC Railway and Forestry Museum, we have a 14.2 meter or 46 and a half foot high beehive burner at the back of the park. The burner is from the Pa Lumber Company. It was first erected in 1979. It was built with a flat top which accommodated a damper that helped control temperature and burn waste wood with less pollution. The damper was not incorporated in the domed burners exhibited here. Lou Engelhart painted two beehive burners at the Powell Lumber Company in 1974, five years before our beehive burner was built. <laughs> 